integral of sin inverse of square root of x divided by square root of 1 minus x. Now we want to remove that sin inverse there. So we have to take root x in such a way that sin inverse and sin will cancel. So let us say root x equals to sin theta. So that sin inverse sin theta will become theta. Let us see what happens. We will say root x equals to sin theta. When you square it on both sides, we will have x equals to sin square theta. Also, theta will be sin inverse of square root of x. x equals to sin square theta. Let us differentiate it. We will have dx equals to x square derivative is 2x. So, 2 into sin theta. And by chain rule, sin theta derivative is cos theta. Now let's go and transform the given integral in terms of theta. So we'll write down integral of sin inverse root x which we know equals to theta divided by square root of 1 minus x. x is sin square theta. So we can write down square root of 1 minus sin square theta which will become cos theta. And instead of dx we have to write 2 into sin theta into cos theta into d theta. Let us simplify that. We will have 2 coming outside. We will have theta by cos theta into sin theta cos theta d theta. Cos theta cos theta will cancel. We will have 2 into integral of theta into sin theta. Now we have an integral of product of two functions. So we will be using integration by parts. So we will take our sin theta as second function which we are going to integrate. First and theta as the first function which we are going to differentiate afterwards. So we will have 2 into second function integral that is integral of sin theta d theta. Multiply with first function that is theta minus integral of derivative of first function that is derivative of theta multiplied with integral of second function that is integral of sin theta d theta. Whatever we got, we have to integrate that again. That is equals to 2 into integral of sin theta is minus cos theta. So, we will have minus theta cos theta minus integral of sin theta is minus cos theta we know and derivative of theta is 1. So, minus minus 1 become plus and we are left out with integral of cos theta d theta in the second part. In the next step, we will have that is equals to 2 times of minus theta cos theta plus integral of cos theta which is equals to sin theta plus c. Now let us substitute back into x. So what is theta? Theta is sin inverse root x. So minus of sin inverse root x into cos theta cos theta is 1 minus sin square theta under root that means square root of 1 minus x plus sin theta sin theta is root x plus c. Now how we got cos theta? cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta that means cos theta equals to square root of 1 minus sin square theta that is nothing but square root of 1 minus x. Now that we substituted here. So the integral of sin inverse root x divided by square root of 1 minus x is equals to 2 multiplied by minus sin inverse root x into square root of 1 minus x plus square root of x plus c.